Welcome back to my Raptor Reaper creation. Um, I said it in my last episode of Pleasure Beach that I'm away for work and so I'm having difficulties recording and making it good quality. So I'm trying something new today without using my earphones and I'm actually just doing it direct into my laptop to see if that's any better. Because I do feel like the quality on the last video wasn't great at all and um, I want it to be easy to watch and listen to. So I'll try it this way this time. So today on my next Raptor episode, I'm just gonna do some kind of uh, details around the midway area and surrounding areas of Raptor. So I'm starting off with this paved area that there is along the side of the queue line. And then I wasn't quite sure actually what was around behind this area. And I, I'd seen some buildings on Google Earth. So I just kind of tried to copy them and then it wasn't until later on when I actually found some really good photos after searching the web for a long time that I realized that uh, one of the buildings was like a toilet block and that kind of thing etc so I do go back in um, once I've built the building and actually add some more of the details onto it to make it more what it's supposed to be like so I noticed from looking at pictures that the path work around Raptor is very random it's not really a consistent pattern or color that goes through it's all different shades patchy concrete and there are these kind of plaza square areas like i'm doing here with the tables and chairs but the colors are very different so i'm just going to go through and actually just start putting down some different random patterns and textures and stuff and piecing it together um, and just finding the right colors for because some of the paths are actually in-game paths and some of the paths i put down are covers path covers and so I'm going to do like a kind of a mix match of both just because I feel like with the path covers there's more variety of colors I can choose um, within the shades of grey. So that's something I'm going to try and continue now throughout the rest of this build. But here's this toilet block I was talking about. At this point when I was building it I didn't actually know what it was but um, I had an idea of the shape of it so I'm just kind of laying down the basic shape and I will come back later on and, and add some more kind of details to make it look more like what it's supposed to. So on the side of the toilets is this small building, I believe it's the Raptor Hotshots um, kind of stall and uh, this also was something I didn't really know what it looked like and so I'm putting down a very basic shape yet again and I, like I say with the toilets I'm going to come back and add some more details onto that once I've kind of figured out what it actually is but um, at the moment I just like to kind of place things down and get an idea for positions and where things are in the area and then go back in with the details. So I've just finished joining up some paths there as you saw and kind of putting in some different shades of grey like I said I would do with the path covers and now it's time to do this um, building which runs along the side of Raptor and it's two different buildings joined together and I'm not actually 100% sure what they are. I think one of them is more like a, a souvenir shop or something that you can actually walk into and the other half, the turquoise blue half, is um, some sort of fast food um, kind of windows where you can grab stuff I think I'm not 100% sure I have been looking at reference photos to build this but I built this a while ago and I can't actually remember 
what the reference photos looked like or what they actually were. But um, working from those photos, I came up with this. And this is just like a, as close as I can get it, representation of what the real thing should be. So there's actually this, um, like a, a thing on the roof of this building and I built, I've seen two different reference photos and both of them had different things on the roof. So I've gone for the one that I think looked the best, but I'm not entirely sure if it's the one that is still there on the actual um, stall. So um, this might be actually slightly incorrect. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I can't actually remember from when I was there um, a year ago what was on this roof because it's not really something I remembered. But this is the thing I'm talking about. And I've just basically built it by using the different um, angled pillars from the architect set and some different pieces from the Shy Guy set. So that's that now kind of done. I've just looked at some reference photos in between and so I'm just going to go back now and just fill in some more little uh, details with this toilet block because I didn't actually know it was toilets before. So now I kind of know what it is I can kind of add a few little more things on it make it look like what it should be and so I've changed the entrance areas into this and I'm just adding some more texture by making some of the walls stick out a bit more like this little frame around the top. And I think I'm going to darken the roof a little bit. I think it's too... I, I didn't want it white, but I wanted it to be grey. But I think the grey is too light at the moment. And it kind of reflects very bright and it looks very white. So I think I'm going to go in and make that slightly darker. Maybe once once the kind of area is more complete, I can kind of take a look back and see how things look. And if I need to change any of the shades of the colours that I've used. So the Raptor Hotshot store here has these little um, yellow framework things around it. So I just did that there. I'll go back in later and do more of that kind of thing. So behind the toilet block there is this big eating area which is under these canopies and so I'm just going to go in and start with that. I'm doing this flower bed first which goes along the side of the exit path from Raptor and divides up the two areas. So the actual canopies themselves, um, I did them and I was really happy with how they looked. And then as the area develops more and I start actually adding in a few more details that I didn't actually realise I was going to build when I started the project, I realised that these canopies are actually far too small and actually the size of two of them is probably the size of one of them. So these, what I'll do in, in another episode, which I had, have actually done already, is I just make these bigger by making them, I think at the moment they each canopy is four tiles wide and I need to make them the whole thing eight tiles wide so it means the actual whole thing will be 16 tiles with two canopies so I'll do that later on but for now I've just got an idea and the pieces are there and I can kind of see what's going on since looking at reference photos as well I realised that the back of this big warehouse building that I built is actually got this um, dark green and turquoise light blue kind of thing going on so I'm just going to go in and just do a representation of that just to make that look more like what it should by using some just beams and repainting the colour of the walls there just adding a few more details there to the Raptor Hot Shots so that's basically I have this week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, stick around for next time on the next episode of my Raptor Recreation. Bye.